there's a lot to learn, a lot to learn from what's going on all around the world, I think. We now have 25% uh, of academic staff right across the country um, are fellows of the Higher Education Academy, so they have gained professional recognition. Um, some institutions have set themselves uh, targets um, to get 100% of their staff professionally recognised against the professional standards, um, which I think is fantastic, you know. Um, it really does raise the profile and the status of teaching, and it encourages staff to continue not only to, to gain fellowship, but also to um, continue on, on a path of development throughout their career because the, there are four levels of, of fellowship, from associate fellowship to principal fellowship. So um, it, there's a sort of developmental framework there, uh, which institutions are using, uh, also using to inform um, their own promotions criteria um, and uh, the support that they provide. To, to their own staff. So there's been a really significant development, I think, in the UK over, over recent years around the professionalization of teaching in that way. That's really positive. I think um, the other, or one of the other big trends at the moment, I think, is an increased focus on the concept of student engagement. Um, and that's being thought about in two ways, both of which are very important, I think. Firstly, the kind of recognition of how important it is in learning and teaching to really actively engage students, that students should be active partners and creators, in a sense, of, of their own learning, uh, that they should take responsibility, that they should be able to really you know, engage and, and lead and shape their, their own learning in order to um, gain the best possible learning outcomes. Um, so there's a big focus on the, on the concept of student engagement in that sense um, and new pedagogies that, that really foster engaged learning, deep learning. That's, I think, important. Um, and we're also talking a lot in the UK at the moment about enge student engagement in learning and teaching quality enhancement. So historically, we've had a reasonably strong emphasis on um, gaining student feedback on their experiences to inform quality enhancement. But that's been largely to do with uh, the student voice. So perhaps student satisfaction with what they've experienced, um, asking them questions about you know, how courses have been for them and, and making improvements in the light of that. That's very important and, and our institutions have good embedded systems with uh, student representatives um, being members of staff student committees and students feeding in to the quality enhancement at institutional level in that way. But I think we've moved a stage, or we're moving a stage beyond that at the moment and really starting to see students as partners in enhancement activity, in quality enhancement. So students are becoming involved in um, curriculum design, in developing uh, learning and teaching resources, in researching the student experience, evaluating the student experience, maybe evaluating new innovations and initiatives in, in learning and teaching, um, in taking on advisory roles, um, with academic staff, in working with academic staff around the use of new technologies. So there's a much more egalitarian and, and participatory kind of relationship growing with students in relation to improving the student experience. The Higher Education Academy is a national agency in the UK um, that focuses on the enhancement of learning and teaching uh, across the sector. And um, we are funded by the four governments and also by institutional subscription. So all universities in the UK do subscribe to the HEA. They're not um, required to, but, but they do. And we offer a, a number of enhancement services. Um, I think probably the, the absolutely central 
um, function that we perform is to run a professional recognition scheme for, uh, for university teachers and, and other staff who support learning. So um, we, um, we provide a fellowship scheme which is aligned to the UK professional standards framework for university teaching, which, which is a, a shared and commonly agreed framework uh, of threshold standards, really, um, for quality in, in, in higher education uh, teaching. Um, so we run a, a fellowship scheme against that. Um, we also um, run a number of surveys um, that institutions can use if they want to gain feedback from their students uh, about the student experience.